name is Connor Verso. My name is John Smeaton, and we're using calculus to solve a problem in relation to tidal energy. Okay, this is a 3D uh, representation of the problem using Mathematica uh, of the tidal basis. Okay, the problem itself. Tidal power plants use tidal energy to produce electrical energy. To construct a tidal power plant, a dam is built to separate a basin from the sea. Electrical energy is produced as the water flows back and forth between the basin and the sea. The amount of natural energy produced depends on the volume of the basin and the tidal range. The vertical distance between high and low tides. Alright. Okay, so this is an illustrated model of the um, problem. The basin is a thousand feet long, the z coordinate is 500 feet, and the bottom of the basin is defined by the equation y equals 1 over 40,000 x squared. Um, and the lowest depth of the uh, basin is 25 feet. Okay, so first problem. Consider a basin with these dimensions. Um, how much water does the basin hold at high tide? This is essentially finding the volume of the entire basin. To do this, you break the problem into a two-dimensional problem. First, you start off by finding the area of this shape right here. Um, it's the same thing as a normal uh, integral problem with area with uh, one equation over the other. In this case, uh, the, the deepest point of the basin is 25 feet, so you do 25 minus the equation y equals 1 over 40,000 x squared. And then to turn it into a three-dimensional problem, you multiply it by the z-coordinate, 500 feet. And you get, with significant figures, 8,300,000 cubic feet. Now, for part B, it asks you to find the total amount of energy that you can, can be derived from filling this basin. And uh, we've changed it into filling the total amount of energy that you can derive from a day of this basin filling and emptying, which is four cycles. Um, so basically, what you do is you take cross sections of this basin, and, and, we're, and we're finding as if the water is flowing over the top. So anything at the bottom flows down 25 feet, and anything at the top doesn't flow down at all. So then you, from that, with that logic, you want to find the total amount of um, width that this has at the bottom or in horizontal cross sections, and that's essentially equal to the x-coordinate. So then by solving for x in this equation, you're going to get 200 square roots of y, which is the width, width of these panels. And then to find the total amount of distance they fall down, you do 25 minus whatever the y-coordinate is of where they are. And, uh, to make it three-dimensional, you multiply it by 500, and you derive it over from 0 to 25, the range of the y. And you multiply it by 64 pounds per cubic foot to get the um, conversion of water's weight. And you're going to get about 5,300,000,000 um, 5 foot-pounds per cycle. And if you know anything about tides, you know that there's four cycles of filling and emptying a day, so fills, empties, fills, empties. And then you want to convert this to kilowatt hours, so that's 2,655,223.74 foot pounds per kilowatt hour. And then by multiplying by 4 and dividing by that conversion factor, you're going to get 3,992 kilowatt hours per day.